Yeah, I remember that dude who got caught for um watching um deep fake porn or whatever. Apparently he's been on a freaking apology tour. Um he's not crying this time. He's not he's not crying or whatever, but he's just been I'm gonna be real. I already told you guys my thoughts in regards to this. I didn't post a video on this on so YouTube, might be a little bit confused, but why he didn't why did you even bring this? Bro, just stop talking about it. This whole deep fake thing, he's trying so hard to go on this a little apology tour. I'm, I'm donating money. Wait, let's let the video play out first before I do this. You already know my thoughts. For the last time I was live. The that live stream was terrible. Um Ari and I had been up since 2 a.m. just mainlining LSF comments, and my brain was just total TV static. Like I literally I wasn't thinking. I was it's thinking. been like a month. It was, bad. it was bad. It's still bothering him a month later. So okay, it's about it's about a week after. Right, it's a week after the event, and the first thing I did was I wired Morrison Rothman about sixty thousand dollars to cover any woman on Twitch who wanted to use uh, their services, their, their legal services. Why are you telling us? Why? Why are you telling us this again, bro? The same way when you was jacking off to the freaking Pokemon deep fake porn, we didn't ask to receive that information. We didn't ask to receive this. If you want to do charitable work, fine. Shut the fuck up and continue streaming. I'm serious, bro. Bro, gonna lose followers because he's gonna lose followers because he keeps talking about it. No one wants to hear about this shit, bro. I'm sorry. Even Pokey, like I said, I respected Pokemon because she handled it like, you know what I'm saying? A queen would handle it. She did one comment, call niggas weird, like what she usually does. It doesn't really talk about it that much again. She kept it moving, like, all right, if, I want, if it's that serious, I'm gonna handle it privately and just sue them. Easy. This dude on her hand, because he had a little fetish cake, he was curious and he was jacking off to it. He keeps bringing it back up. No one's really that butthurt about it. There's women butthurt, but I don't think they're butthurt up at you. They're butthurt at the people actually doing it. Down to reputation management. That's only step one, and that's just money. It's not that's not a huge deal, but I just want to just how, how it started. And that was because Cutie has worked with them for a very long time. She recommended them to all the women involved and then told me. So uh, I just covered to make sure anyone who was using it, I think it's baseline, anyone who's using it is not financially impacted. All right. But the important thing is that now I had a connection and in with Morrison Rothman. So I was able to ask questions and just see what the process is for takedowns and actually learn more about how this process works. So you can see if we can help or make it better or do anything like that. Oh my God. Uh, and I started to learn a lot about things I was very naive or uninformed about. Okay. So then around the same time, this is about a week after the, everything that happened, I got a DM from a woman named Genevieve O, who is a leading researcher in the fight against deep fakes. She's worked with New York Times, BBC, Washington Post, a whole bunch of people. Bro, 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 oh my god. <laughs> Even the comments, bro. Yo, homie use way too much internet on them deep fake porn sites. You don't got any left to stream. Dead ass, bro. That shit was lagging. I thought that was me. He kept freaking lagging back and forth. He should have used that 60K on his freaking internet. Dude on an apology tour laughed my ass off. He begging to be seen as a good guy. Buddy, you don't have to apologize for beating off. We don't care. <laughs> okay, it's nice to see that my sentiment is the sentiment of the common folk. We really don't care. Like, honestly, why does bro keep bringing this up, bro? I only know him because of this. And I'm pretty sure his audience most likely is getting annoyed from hearing about this, bro. If you got caught up in the act, you apologize. You and your girlfriend was both crying, doing this little hissy fit. It wasn't that serious in the first place. Bro, it's whatever. You was jacking off. If you want to apologize to somebody, apologize to your girlfriend. I don't care. I don't want to see both of y'all apologize in the public. We, we don't, the, the people don't care. Only people who honestly would care about stuff like this is the people who are actually being deep faked, which is the women on Twitch. They have a right to be upset at the people creating those deep fakes. I don't give a fuck about you jacking off to them. We don't need to hear about this no more. Hopefully he stops talking about it and continues with his regular life as a streamer. But yeah, man, just... Just grow a pair, bro. Just admit you like, ah, right, you was jacking off. It is what it is. People want to cry about watching porn, bro. I'm sorry. He's still on that? Yeah, he's still on that shit. Ah, oh, man. There was another thing. Another thing. Apparently, somebody got drunk at the freaking streaming awards or whatever, too. Twitch is having a whole... Twitch is going crazy or whatever. All right. I'm going to pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Shut up. Now you as a viewer going on and attacking her and commenting on things online that does not help anyone. I literally called out viewers for attacking Justin Minx after drama at the streamer awards. So apparently Justin Minx 
got drunk, had to be escorted out, and the after party of the streamer awards or whatever had to be canceled because it all had to be shut down because of it. And then all these content creators started making videos like, oh, we try to help her. She's a drunk and we try to tell her, you know, she can't do this and do that. So what they decided to do in order to help her is to make it go public. All these famous streamers with millions of followers it was like, you know what? Let's make this public. Let's tell the whole world about her being a drunk and her doing this, her puking or whatever. We had to shut down out the party because of her. Let's tell the whole world. Let's see how that helps her out. And apparently they don't, they are now realizing like, oh, there's going to be negative backlash from their followers in regards to them literally outing her about her little situation. Like I understand if they think it's going to help. I don't see how they think it's going to help. What is telling the public going to help somebody? What is telling the whole entire world someone's problem going to help them with said problem, bro? <laughs> I don't understand the mind of some of these people, like some of these streamers, bro. But anyways, this is Alinity talking to the viewers who attacked Justin Minks in regards to the drama that took place at the awards. I know her that well. I'm close to her, but I don't know the extent of her problems because I've tried reaching out for help a million times and I can't do like like it's just there's just a point where you just can't do anything what i'm trying to say is she's already someone who's in pain and and if you want to tell her like hey i'm not gonna be in your life anymore until you get better that's a good thing you should do that you should tell an addict like hey i'm not gonna be in your life anymore until you get better that's a good thing that's you establishing boundaries now you as a viewer going on and telling her and attacking her and like commenting on things. so her her pockets Social stop the addiction, I guess. Have her viewers say they're gonna leave her alone until she quits. Oh, I don't know what's going through these people's heads. I'll say this as a friend, if you're dealing with someone with addiction, you could do as much as you can with as a friend, but I clearly honestly don't see any way where going public about it and telling the whole world we had to shut down a party because of her. Is going to help her in this in the slightest way. Honestly, now she got you think all this embarrassment, all this backlash, everyone knowing her business is not going to make her want to go deeper into the freaking abyss and drink even more. It's a coping mechanism like, bro, it's a coping mechanism. Now she has an excuse. <laughs> like, I like I understand they're trying to look for ways to help her out, but this is not a way to help her out. And I'm not going to freaking go and think like, oh, these streamers are so good willed for trying to help out a friend. Shut the fuck. I don't give a f bro. There's so many different ways they could find a way to help. If you want to help someone out, do it in private. I want to hear about this shit. And in complete honesty, I think most of the people who normal people like we just don't really care like that, bro. Her personal viewers. um, Hurting her pockets in regards to this. I don't know. I don't know. She's a grown woman. Hopefully she could find a way to help herself. But if that's the thing, they got to want to help themselves. If they don't help themselves, then what the hell us, us as viewers are going to do? We're like the littlest of, we have the most little power. You guys are a real her life friends. I see her in person. You interact with her in person. As a viewer, you're going to see, you're going to be one of the million chatters in there typing, stop, stop drinking. The fuck is that going to do? We're going to leave if you keep on drinking. That's one viewer out of what, a thousand? A million? How, how many viewers she got? I don't even know how big the streamer is. I don't see how that's supposed to play an effect. All you're going to get is your freaking hate mail, trolls, and people that's on your ass because you ruined the party. That's about it. I, I don't know how this is supposed to help. Mind, like, that does not help anyone. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, Then what does? I, I just worry about her, and I don't want her to do problems. I don't freaking know what... Like I said, and plus, I view a lot of these people who are at these stream things are fake as hell, too. Like, like I said. Hmm. The Internet's full of trolls. If I get my business put on a fresh street, I'm expecting niggas to be hating on me like right away. That's the first reaction. How you guys are so known, so big on a platform and y'all didn't expect haters to come her way when you guys outed her about her addiction. You think we're all just mature and nice? There's a lot of kids on Twitch. They're going to make fun of her. Yes. <laughs> like, I'm trying to figure out what is the big surprise here. So I'm trying. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know anymore. Some of these people just add, to be honest, bro. Like, for instance, if my family member's going through something. Why would I go to chat and tell y'all like, oh, this and that or reveal it to everyone else who have nothing to do with the situation? Chat is not going to cure her. Chat is not going to help her with her addiction in regards to that. 
Her personal friends and family could make an effect, but the main one who's going to make a change in her life to stop an addiction is her. It's her. That's it. They discarded the event. They mentioned he got a freaking hand job. I don't care, bro. What the? I don't give a f bro. He got more money than all these chicks. It don't matter to me. <laughs> That's about it. Kai getting that Twitch bag at this point. He, I doubt Kai cares that much too. He, I, he, I. But I'm just saying this. This little fake ass. I'm the good guy. I'm trying to help out my friend by telling the whole world. I don't believe I ain't buying that bullshit one bit. If she going to get help, she got to find a way to help herself. If she don't want to help herself, what the f we ain't doing? We ain't going to do nothing about that. I'm sorry. We can't do nothing about that. It is what it is. It's sad to hear, but what can we do? Honestly.